the next class of microeconomics, we are going to start with a new chapter that is balance of payments. So first of all, what does balance of payments mean? Balance of payments means a statement of accounts that shows economic transactions of a country with respect to her. It is a statement of accounts and it is clearly visible to you. It is based on the double entry book system. Double entry book system means it has two sides, one is debit side, one is credit side. So what does it mean? All receipts come under the head debit side and all payments come under the head debit side. It is a statement of accounts that shows economic, economic transactions which transactions related to finance that shows economic transactions of a country with the rest of the world. All receipts come under the head credit side and all payments come under the head debit side. So we are starting with the next heading that is components of BOP. BOP means balance of payment. It can further be classified into two parts. One is current account, one is capital account. So first of all, what does current account mean? Current account means the accounts that shows flow of goods and services across the border. That shows flow of goods and services. Goods and services. Goods here, services here. Current account is an account that shows economic transaction of the country related to goods and services. So it was further classified into two parts or three parts. One is balance of trade, that is balance of goods. One is balance of invisibles, that is services. Balance of trade means it is an account that shows export and import of goods only. That shows export and import of goods only. And next having is balance of services. Balance of services or balance of invisibles means that shows export and import of services only. That shows export and import of services only. Services can further be classified into two parts. One is vector services and one is non-vector services. One is vector services, one is non-vector services. Vector services were those services for which we are giving something in return. Vector services are those services for which giving, we are giving some factors in return. That is we are giving land. In return we are taking rent. Non-factor services means the factor services for which we are not giving anything in return, example, banking, shipping, insurance, etc. So then the last heading is really related to transfer. So first of all, what does current account means? Current account means an account that shows flow of goods and services across the borders. Flow of goods means balance of trade. This statement is also known as balance of merchandise. Next is balance of invisibles means services can further be classified as factor services and non-factor services. And the last thing is unilateral transfers, that is one-sided transfers can be categorized as current account. Now we are starting with the next thing that is capital account. Capital account shows those transactions which leads to change in the ownership status. Which leads to change in the ownership status in an economy. It doesn't lead to flaw of goods and services, it leads to change in the ownership status. So it was further classified into three main heads. One is borrowings, one is investment, one is other components. First of all, what is borrowings means? Borrowings means we are borrowing something from the other countries. It leads to change in the ownership status. It means that liability is rising. Next is investment. It means that we are investing something or investing somewhere. That is, it leads to change in the ownership status. That is, assets were increasing. So, borrowings can further be classified into two parts. One is ECB, one is EAB. ECB means external commercial borrowings, EAB means external assistance borrowings. Investment can also be further classified into two parts. One is FDI, one is FII. FDI means foreign direct investment. FII means foreign institutional investment. This investment can also be termed as portfolio investment. This investment can also be termed as portfolio investment. So we are going back to the first series that is BOP statement. BOP is statement of accounts that shows economic transactions of a country with the rest of the world. So it has two sides, one is direct side, one is credit side. One is direct side and one is credit side. Now we need to show the different different situations. Where it comes? Export of goods come under the head credit side. Import of goods come under the head debit side because payment is going. Next is export of services come under the head credit side. 
Next is import of services comes under the head debit side. Next is unilateral receipts. Next is unilateral payments. These were the situations of current account. Now we are getting the situations of capital account. This means borrowings from the rest of the world that comes under the head receipt. Next is lending to rest of the world. Lending to rest of the world causes increase in the assets. Next is investment from rest of the world. Next is investment to rest of the world. These were the situations. These were the situations of capital account. Now the next thing is unilateral receipts or all receipts come under the head this side and all payments come under the head this side. Next heading is if the receipts were more than the payments, then this is termed as transfer to reserve. If payments were more than the receipt, that it can be termed as transfer from reserves. So the next question is BOP balance is always balances. Yes, BOP balance is always balances because total of both the sides begin same everywhere. Because total becomes same in each and every situation. Now the next one is autonomous account and accommodating transaction. Autonomous transactions means the transaction that were mainly done to earn profit. Accommodating transactions means a transaction to maintain the balance of BOP. This is also known as above the line items. This is also known as below the line items. It involves current account and capital account both. It includes capital account only. So these were the situations of the BOP. That is one is current account and one is the capital account. This is clear from the first starting that it is a statement of accounts and is based on the double entry book system. Two classifications were there. Credit items were recorded as positive items, whereas debit items were recorded as negative items. Now the situations were like this. Three situations come under this chapter. One is surplus BOP. One is balanced BOP. One is deficit BOP. Surplus and deficit BOP can be classified as disequilibrium in BOP. Whereas balanced BOP can be classified as equilibrium in the BOP. Surplus means a situation in which receipts were more than the payments, and deficit means a situation in which payments were more than the receipts. This is the BOP, that is the last chapter of macroeconomics that shows the situations of the current account and the situations of capital account. Remaining will continue in the next class. Thank you so much.